before we even focus on colleges, there are universities and there are colleges. So universities generally are larger than colleges. They offer more majors. Universities tend to have uh, advanced um, programs. So they have uh, either master's program and or master's and doc uh, doctorate programs. Um, whereas your colleges typically just focus on undergraduate students. You, there are the two types of universities. There are teaching universities and there are research universities. So de again, depending upon what you wanna do, you may prefer a research university um, instead of a teaching university. And there are, um, even though, you know, universities tend to be a little bit larger because they may have like co the College of Engineering or the School of Business. And, you know, so they have different colleges under the umbrella of the particular university. Um, what you need to also focus on is the size of the university. So they, again, tend to be typically larger, but they sometimes have um, for the, not for the core courses typically in your first year, but as you get more in your major, they typically have smaller class size. So the one thing is um, a large university, so large institution size. And then there's another thing where there's a large class size or smaller class size. And so you may attend a university where there are 15,000 students and maybe your English 100, your first year English, English comp class has, I don't know, like 150, 200 students in it. But then as you move up in your major, you may be in a room with 30 people or 20 people. So don't just focus on the size of the, of the school. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to find some of that, but also think about class size um, as well. That's really important. Um, in, in your search. Um, and then when it comes to colleges, let me do this. When it comes to colleges, there are many types of colleges. So there are liberal arts colleges and they emphasize the humanities, social sciences, natural sciences. Their goal is really to develop um, just general knowledge and reasoning ability rather than a specific career skill. Um, and many of the, the classes tend to be small and you're more likely to get personal attention at a liberal arts college than at a large university. And then there are women's colleges where there are women only and then there are men's colleges where there are men only um, at those colleges. There are art colleges um, and even music categories. So if you know you want to um, you know, focus on a, a career in the visual arts, maybe performing arts. Um, there are colleges where you're immersed in that particular discipline. There are um, engineering colleges that really focus just on engineering. There are historically black colleges and universities also called HBCUs. And they originated at a time when um, black students were denied access to most colleges and universities. And um, the mission really started to help students of color gain an education. So although they're still predominantly Black, they're open, of course, to students of all, all ethnicities, um, all backgrounds, but, um, but they tend to have a strong uh, draw for students of color. Then there are Hispanic-serving colleges and Hispanic-serving uh, uh, institutions. And these are designed because Hispanic students comprise at least 25% of their full-time undergraduate admissions. And these are typically like in Arizona or Texas. So they're different from HBCUs from historically black colleges and universities um, in that they're not solely or you know, they weren't specifically created for Hispanic students, but they serve a large Hispanic population. And then there are military colleges and service academies where if you know you want to pursue a career in the military, and maybe not a, a path, a civilian path, you can be immersed in a uh, militaristic environment where it's not just the academic, but it's also leadership, mil you know, military leadership, and it's also the strong physical uh, discipline as well, the physical program. So, you know, many different types of colleges and universities. And so you need to ask yourself, you know, what, what uh, type of college is a good fit for me. And you may find a mix, but um, understanding, again, the differences between universities, which are typically larger than colleges, offer more majors, research facilities, and subdivided into colleges or schools, or you may want something a little bit more 
specialized. 